I started painting probably in my late 20s. Uh, I studied drawing uh, initially and then illustration in undergrad and it wasn't until after I had graduated with my undergraduate degree uh, that I kind of took a, a fondness to want to learn how to paint. The main thing that I thought was lacking in drawing was color and you know most of the work that we had studied you know in college uh, as art students was painting and I think that just by being inundated with images that we were studying led me to want to kind of uh, kind of progress to something that was a little bit more resolved than drawing. I think for me the the most exciting thing is to get the painting to kind of emerge from a point where I think I know where it's going to a point where just by trying to make it work pictorially uh, it starts to show itself. Uh, my process actually with my figures is to paint the figure from life. So I often have a model here in my studio working and then I invent the space completely from a variety of sources from photographs from my travels. Um, and because there's nothing really before me that I'm kind of just replicating or trying to capture, there's always an element of uh, fallibility where it may not work together or it may look like it's been just kind of assembled in a way that looks artificial or doesn't seem like it would be natural. And when those things kind of all start to look like they are one experience or done like from one source, uh, it's kind of magic because uh, for the first time it becomes concrete and it's, I think a lot of artists have that joy um, about seeing something go from idea to the finish. I've always had an interest in, in working with a figure. I think it stems from the fact that, um, you know, a lot of the artists that I initially encountered, uh, Rembrandt being one of them, uh, always had figures or the paintings that I think of with Rembrandt are figurative. And I think that, you know, just being a person, uh, and some of the subject matter that I wanted to talk about initially, uh, you know, my parents having cancer and, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, really kind of personal issues. It seemed as though the figure was maybe like the best vehicle as a subject to do that. You know, it's so loaded with psychology, with emotion and, uh, you know, as a person, I think we kind of relate to that uh, inherently and maybe even unconsciously. And I think that that, to me, was the thing that just seemed like it had the most uh, potential for me personally. I feel like I related to it more than I did landscape or still life. Currently, I think history is becoming a, a bigger uh, component in my work, uh, both in terms of inspiration and in terms of uh, idea. I think that uh, most of my references uh, to the subject matter that I paint now tend to be more about things that are non-art re related to uh, things that are more about history or other cultures and I think that a lot of that kind of stems from my travel and uh, between reading about things and then actually traveling there uh, you know a lot of things I think that I passed over as a younger artist because it just seemed to be old or not uh, cutting edge uh, has more resonance now as I get older. I think I find more in that work and the history uh, and the age of things than I did maybe when I was younger.